Hallelujah! Greetings! Um, this is Pastor Jimmy from uh, La Paz, Bolivia. Last week we were in uh, Peru, Lima, Peru. Uh, and next week probably we have to be in Chile. Uh, everything that we do after we became a believer. Uh, you know, I guess there are many kinds of believers out there. And I guess we are one of the kind. <laughs> but since God is living God and God has clear intention that uh, you know this is how the life should be lived by. And He has given us words of God and intention. And not just that, uh, He didn't just give us a decree to follow. Uh, he has sent one and only Son, Jesus Christ, to show example. And it's not done after that. After that, uh, God said, well, reason that why God sent us, Jesus, is to baptize us with the fire and Holy Spirit. Amen? Do you agree? All right. <laughs> so, uh, after uh, we have experienced the promise of God, I mean, this is for those who have experienced the promises of God. Not just, you know, fantasizing holy words of God, but those who lived by according to His intention, which is promise of God, and who have experienced how God keeps His promises to those who are following the law of God. Amen? And for those, hopefully you and I, for those, uh, it has been evident that God is living God and He's beautiful, awesome God and worthy to be praised. And He is guiding our lives in daily basis. It's God is very active, active God in our lives. I mean, He's not, uh, you know, dictator. <laughs> As God says, God is love. That's ultimate, amazing love. And that love contains free will, yes, and He still uh, allows us a free will. So we may willfully follow God wholeheartedly by only one condition, that is love. Not by calculation to get something out of God's pocket, but because it is righteous and it is, it is good life. And it is gift from heaven above. Amen. Life is gift. But often we have seen some people who say they believe, but you know, it gets up to a certain point that we get to, we become kind of scared to, uh, scared for them, <laughs> scared to look into their lives. They're saying that they believe, but, you know, they don't. They're just actors. Or so confused that they don't even know that they are living the lie. And please, I don't want you to live that life. Please live the life, the glorious life, beautiful life, the righteous life, that are allowed by God and also guided by God and experience God in daily basis, and it will be beautiful. Amen? And let, let us share, to do that, uh, God give us wisdom. How do we do that, right? It's um, Isaiah chapter 55, from verse, uh, uh, from verse six, I will read from verse six. Isaiah chapter 55, verse six. I'm going to go on. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Wow. Once again. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the evil man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on him. And to our God, for he will freely pardon. 
Aleluya. Okay. God says, seek God, seek, seek the Lord. If you seek, you know, don't just act like you're seeking, but really, you know, do a deep soul searching. Yeah, man. Truly. Have you done it? Or you have? You have not? Can you honestly say that, are you still doing it? Because God wants you to keep on doing it. Because there's more. You know, we cannot fathom the thoughts of God. I mean, think about it. He's God. Amen. How wonderful He is. How amazing He is. And the reason that also He is God is that it's abundance. You, know, you cannot master God. <laughs> you cannot master the teachings of God. It's so endless. It's, it's, just, it's so much to get into. It's just so beautiful. And it is not a tiresome uh, waste. It's not. It's just uh, more than the jewel that we know on earth. <laughs> it's that beautiful. But to do that, he says, uh, you have to call on him while he's near. Okay, let's, let's think about that. Okay, so how do we know when God is near or not? The truth is, the whole universe is created by words of God, amen? It's literally continuancy of God's breath. <laughs> Whatever he spoke, he says, let there be light, and there was light. So if you see the light, you are seeing the creation of God, which is God's commandment became the creation. Which means, it's, since everything was created by words of God, it's a continuance of God's breath. Yes. The air we breathe in, it is created by God also. So it's a continual contact from God. So, in that sense, you know what? We are surrounded by God's continuance. Continuancy. <laughs> yes. God reached down to us still. And He's the one who maintains the whole universe. Yes. You know, this doesn't just work by itself. There's God who generates this and maintains this. And you are in it. But your minds and thoughts have to aim God right in a glorious way. So when God says, call on Him while He's near, let me tell you, now is the time. Yes. Remember when Jesus came to Martha and Maria, when their brother is dead. Nazareth is dead. Jesus went with his disciples to resurrect him. Remember? But when those two sisters who love Jesus, when they saw Jesus, this is what they said. If only you were here, my brother would not die. So Jesus says, I am the life. I am the resurrection. He says, I am. It's, it's God of now. It's the continuous of God, Son of God, God's presence. Amen? <laughs> then she goes, Oh, I know at the last day, my brother will rise back up. <laughs> See, but Jesus says, I am now. See, God is about now. It's not about, oh, what if before? Or what will happen in the future? Never mind that. Past is gone, you cannot go back. Future is not yours. It, it's, it's God's. If God allows you future, you may have a future. Tomorrow belongs to God. Amen? See, that's why the shortest Bible verse, what it says, Jesus wept. Why he wept? 
He wept because even though they love Jesus, even though they say they believe in Jesus, even though Jesus is in front of them, presence of God is not with them, even though God wanted to. Why? Because for them, it was never real. It was always past or the future, but not now. So brothers and sisters, yes, I encourage you this morning. Let it be now. Amen. Come near to God. Go near to God. Because God is always near. Hallelujah. Now let, me, let me continue on. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the evil man his thoughts. So there's two things. No matter how wicked or evil you are, maybe you're not, maybe you think you are, but no matter, no matter what, there's a two things we have to correct and aim right towards God. And one is our way, our way of living, our way of life. How do you carry on your life? Be serious with God. And his thoughts. Now we have to change our way of living and way we think things. Yes. Which means God wants us to change wholeheartedly. Not just half truth, but you know. And this is what it says, continues on. Let him turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on him. Hallelujah. And to our God, for He will freely pardon. And God says, you know what? You know, pardon means, it doesn't mean that it's done and finished. Actually, it means, now let's start. Fresh start. Pardon to start fresh. Yes. You know, don't try to uh, just barely get into heaven when you die and say, oh, I'm pardoned. You see, that's not why Jesus came. <laughs> Jesus came so we may live. God is God of living. Amen? <laughs> and it says this, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and snow come down from heaven and do not return to it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish so that it yields a seed for the sower and bread for the eater. Wow. So is my word that goes out from my mouth, from the mouth of God. Amen. It will not return to me empty. It will not return to God empty. But will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. So you will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song before you. And all the trees of the field will clap their hands. Instead of the thorn bush will grow the pine tree, and instead of briars, the mother will grow. This will be for the Lord's renown, hallelujah, for an everlasting sign which will not be destroyed. Okay, so what are we trying to say here? So if you are a true believer, your ways and your thought, now it has to be changed towards God. And since we know that God's thoughts are always greater than amazing than us and ours, we trust in God and ask. Ask for guidance and pray and listen and obey. And since if you are really trying to be near to God by changing your way and thoughts, as God promised, He will speak to us. 
Yes, he does to me. You know, that's why I went to, uh, came to Bolivia <laughs> and went to Peru and going to Chile. I do not understand the whole thing, but since he has spoken, I know it will be beautiful. So I trust in God and obey in daily basis. And love the neighbor, the wherever, wherever the Lord has sent us, and live the life of a light and salt in that city, in that nation. And God promised that He will revive that nation. God will allow us the fire of God everywhere, anywhere we go. And God will redeem them. Hallelujah. Yes, I encourage you and challenge you this morning. I love you this morning with words of God. So you may come closer to God by changing your way, by changing your thoughts. And trust God. And please, if you can, share with your brothers and sisters around you who believe God wholeheartedly. And ask about their lives and share your lives so we can be real. Amen. God bless you and keep you. In La Paz, Bolivia. Shalom.